Good morning. I know you see my feet right now, but I want to show you guys the disgustingness on my sidewalk. Ready for it? Ready for it? Wait a second. Slug. 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 Ew. Wait, keep keep going, keep going. Slug. Are there more? Oh yeah, look at it, look at it, look at look it. Slug, slug. Over there, slug. Everywhere you walk on that sidewalk, there's slugs. You have to like almost avoid them, tiptoe around because there's way too many on the sidewalk. It's so disgusting. We just got a bunch of slugs on our sidewalk. Hello, rain. Thanks a bunch for bringing a bunch of crappy, gross slugs that's on my sidewalk. Anyway, good morning. Morning, Kaden. Morning. How are you? Good. Good. What's that book you got there? Anyhow, I'm gonna go drop him off at school and then I'm gonna go get my coffee like I do every morning. Yet again, I'm in the car. Uh, so I went to Jack in the Box and got me some egg rolls for lunch. I'm gonna do a play-by-play -play with you guys today. What am I doing? I am stressing out today. Um, it's crazy how uh, PG&E just will not help us, and our PG&E was going to be shut down in the next 48 hours, but I walked in there, and uh, they gave us a grace period, and so we're going to figure it out. However, I'm totally stressing today, so I'm going to walk into TJ Maxx and just window shop for a little bit. I just need to take a breather and just relax away from stress. I think it's funny that the universe thinks that it's okay to continue giving us stress. Thanks universe. I appreciate it. You're not very funny. The universe can take a break from us and stop stressing us out. If even that's a thing. Um, so, uh, talking plans about the Super Bowl Sunday. I want to know, leave it down in the comments below what you are doing Super Bowl Sunday. Um, it's not even my favorite teams, but it's always so much fun to get together with friends and family anyway, and that's just an excuse to get together with friends and family, even though I'm not rooting for any team. Whoever wins, I really don't care. But however, if you're a big fan of either team, let us know, or let us know what you're doing for Super Bowl Sunday if you're not doing anything, or if you are doing anything, let us know. We'd like to know. And I'm going to go head into there in just a second, and we'll see you in there. kidding me right now. The cashier at TJ Maxx goes, uh, you want to help me by helping me win a contest that me and my coworkers are doing? And I'm all, that depends on what it is. She goes, if you sign up for a credit card today, so they have, I guess they have to um, get as many people to sign up for a credit card. And I kept saying no. And she's like, don't you want to help me win? I'm all, not that bad. I don't need to sign up for a credit card to help you win. Sorry. That's some straight up bull crap right there if I ever see it. It's Friday. For us, for you, it's Saturday. And I can't believe I'm actually gonna say this, but uh, happy National Stuffed Shroom Day. So if you haven't just tried that disgusting delicacy that just makes you wanna Ralph, Today would be the day to try it. Otherwise, you will feel like Mickey Mouse in vegetable oil, for sure. I think it's time that we had another word from our sponsor. If you don't know what that is, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to find the link or not, but it's well worth watching. Um, those of you who do know, you probably know why we need one. Ah! Uh, Minions! Macho King can be 
one on WWE Immortals. What's Guess up, buddy? Guess what? What? At school, my friend tried to hypnotize me. Hypnotize you? Ooh, I tried to do that to the minions, and I don't think it worked. <laughs> You're getting sleepy. Don't even. Okay, fine. It's joke time. Joke time. What do you got? What can be served but not eaten when it's served? Oh boy. What can be served and not eaten when it's served? Uh, served, served, served. Probably calamari or sushi. You don't get it. I don't get it. It's a tennis ball. A tennis ball? Oh, you sir. How? Oh. That's some bull crap right there. <laughs> Give me some. All right. Ooh, speaking of that, I got a bull crap story. I have to tell real quick. What? I have one more joke. One more joke. All right. What do you got? Knock, knock. Who's that? Eileen. Eileen who? You lean down to tie my shoe. Oh. Well, fine. Then tie your shoe. Are you ready for the bull crap story of the day? You guys know I am not a huge football fan. I just, I never was able to play it, so I never got into it. But I, I have watched like one and a half total games this year. We will watch the Super Bowl. But I have to give you some info. After, because there's some freaks at my work, and I don't mean freaks in a bad way, because I'm I know a lot of our minions love and adore football also. But when you're there and women, children, boys, girls, man, wife, it doesn't matter. When you're watching the game, you need to take this into consideration. Because I heard all the talk at work, and so I had to do my own investigation. So hear me out just for a minute. In like 2001 or something, we are talking about the New England Patriots. And I think it was 2001. They, there was a call called the Tuck Rule. And I think they were playing the Raiders in like an NFC or AFC championship, whichever one it is. And somebody went to throw the ball. And I guess this rule had never been called before. All of a sudden, the Raiders were going to win the game, and it was like the first time the review had ever been there. And the ball was down here, and they called it a tuck rule, and then New England ended up winning the game, blah, blah, blah. 2009, the New England Patriots were fined by the NFL for filming the San Diego Chargers playoff practice. They were fined by the NFL. Caught. They were also caught, in essence, deflating balls. Was it last year? The year before that? Come on. It's very weird that all of a sudden, yeah, I gotta pull over for this. All of a sudden, one, two o'clock in the morning before the Steelers play the Patriots, I guess, to get to the Super Bowl, I think, Justin. A fire alarm goes off in their hotel room. They all had to get up, evacuate. It was a false alarm. Somebody pulled it. Did the Patriots pay somebody $10,000 to go do it, to wake them up, to move their sleep? I don't know. And lastly, for now, there's a press conference that they had for the Falcons and the Patriots. The people in the press conference who are going to be speaking have their backpacks that they can put in a specific spot. Go up to the podium, do their speech, come back, get it. And the Atlanta Falcons offensive coordinator, if I'm correct, backpack was missing. Their playbook was missing minions. 
missing for a half hour. Long story short, what had happened is a reporter supposedly had a backpack similar. We don't know if it's a reporter or not. Who had no business putting their stuff even close to this table where the people speaking at the press conference is a secure location happened to grab it and he had no business even being near that and their offensive playbook is missing for a half hour minions do the math i don't know if that's going to help you in your consideration on who you were rooting for at sunday super bowl it just don't gosh what happened to my house what the even heck okay so tomorrow I'm gonna have to have like three cups of coffee because we just rearranged and there's so much clutter everywhere but we moved the couch from see all this clutter we moved the couch that was here the TV was there the computer was there but now the couch is there entertainment center is there and all this is going to be one clean, open, wide space for the dogs to play or if we have a game. So tomorrow, I'm going to need so much coffee and mushrooms to help me get through the day. <laughs> Ronnie's giving me a dirty look. So this house is absolutely disaster after moving everything around. And uh, it made me upset. It really made me angry and upset that we were finding used tissues of Elijah underneath the couch that we hadn't even seen. And when we moved it, and I saw these tissues, I almost lost it. It was horrifying for me and sad. I was broken hearted again. Probably do that a lot, but anyway, um, I have a lot to do tomorrow to clean this house. I don't know, I may do a speed cleaning video. Um, if you guys want to watch it, let me know. What's up, Daddy? Sorry, there's clutter in the way. I guess I have to go around stuff. He's got his awesome sauce shirt on. Yeah. And he doesn't want to talk because I'm talking too much. Anyway, so what that's, what's, that's what's happening today. Shush! Hello, Keaton. Hey. 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 to do tomorrow so I'm going to close out from here because I have a lot to do tomorrow and I gotta get a lot more organized hey 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 excuse the mess I 
uncontrollable at the moment. So I want to say hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. You are now part of the Mainville Minion family here on YouTube. Hello, hello, hello. To all the new family members. Hey! 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 Leave it in the comments below. We want to say hi to you. You're so sweet. And we'll see you hey! all tomorrow. Hey! 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 We'll see you all tomorrow. Hey!